All right, so I was working on this customer's laptop. This is a Dell Inspiron uh, 7506 2-in-1. All right, so what happened was we did some updates, and after the updates, it wasn't booting, and I found out what's going on. So it updated the firmware or the BIOS, and basically what it did, for some reason, it changes the BIOS setting to RAID. So what we're going to do, we're going to press F12 while it's booting up. Depending on your laptop, it might be F2 or Delete or F1, um, but this is for this specific Dell. We're going to go to BIOS Setup, okay? And then what we're going to do, we're going to go to Storage here. Um, yours can be different again. This uh, was setting itself to RAID ON, all right? So I don't know why, but when it did the update, it sets to RAID ON. And let me show you what happens when it's set to RAID ON. So I'm going to save or apply the changes. And then we're going to exit, and it's not going to boot. So you'll see what happens. We'll wait for this. Okay. Actually, is it booting now? That's going to be weird if it actually boots. Let's see what happens. If, if this happens, then most likely their old SSD is okay, and I'm going to have to swap it back out. So let's wait for this and see. It's taking a while to boot, so I have a feeling it's just going to blue screen. As you can see, it's taking forever to do this boot. Actually, let me turn off the flash. Okay, it's still, and there you go, inaccessible boot device, okay? So again, what's happening is it's trying to read, for some reason it's setting it to RAID, and it's screwing it up. So what we're going to do now, I guess it restarted itself. We're going to press F12 again. Again, depending on your model, um, it might be F2 or it might be delete or sometimes it's F1. If it's an HP, I think it's usually F10. Um, but yeah, it varies from computer to computer. But uh, let's go ahead and see if this will fix it again. So we're going to wait for the boot menu to come up. What happened? Why didn't it do it? F12. Okay, now it's just going to restart itself again. Um, I don't know why it said it was going to the one-time boot menu, but for some reason it didn't. All right. All right, if this video helps you, I do have all those things, Venmo, Zelle, PayPal, and whatever. All right. Um, I do have the links and stuff in the description below. But um, yeah, let me see. Come on going to crash again and then we're going to have to press F12. Okay, so inaccessible boot device again. All right, pretty sure it's going to restart itself without me touching anything. Come on. Okay, pressing F12. Normally on Dells it's like F2 or delete, but for some reason on this model it, you have to press F12. I don't know if it's actually going to go or not. Is it going to just restart itself again? If it is, I'm going to have to shut it off. Come on, do your thing. No. Oh, yeah. Oops. Okay, I didn't need to turn it off. It was probably going to go after that second time, so I'm pressing F12 again. Just going to keep pressing F12. Come on. Why are you taking so long? There you go. All right. Yeah, we're going to go to BIOS setup here. Gonna go to storage and it varies from computer to computer so you'll want to look for this kind of setting here you want to set it to ahci or nvme usually it'll be like sata ahci or something right we're going to apply the changes okay then we're going to exit here and after that it should just boot up normally so we'll give this a few seconds and then i'm going to actually try putting the old ssd back in all right it's preparing automatic repair because it kept failing but most likely it doesn't need any repairs we probably just have to start up the computer normally all right this uh automatic repair thing is actually a windows built-in feature where if it detects it didn't boot the os several times in a row or something then it just automatically does that anyways we're going to go to advanced options here i think and do they have there we go and then we have continue so we're just going to continue to windows 10 and hopefully now it will boot just fine. All right, I'm gonna put this down here because it, well, I guess it's not gonna show a username or anything. I just set up this computer brand new. So there you go. Oh, I guess it shows that. <laughs> okay, so there you go, it worked. 
So anyways, I'm going to put their old SSD back and confirm maybe their old SSD is fine. But maybe it was encrypted or something because my other computer couldn't read it properly. It was showing up as like a 2 terabyte drive even though it was like only 512 gigs. Um, but yeah, as you saw, that trick d that did the trick. And that had that problem because we ran Windows Update or he ran Windows Update trying to... I guess update to Windows 11 or something, and then I think it did the BIOS update, and it crashed that and caused that to stop working. So hopefully that's the case, because then they can save money and don't need to buy a new SSD. But um, yeah, other than that, thanks for watching. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, again, please make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. This kind of repair would also very likely save all your data and programs. So hopefully you didn't already attempt to fix it by doing like a reset this PC or whatever. Doing those system resets uh, because then you'll actually lose all your data. But um, yeah, actually let me see if I can do this here real quick. I should probably actually put my camera in the dock but i think i can actually do this with one hand so let's see here can i do this with one hand never know <laughs> Nah, i don't think i can do this with one hand oh actually maybe i can okay let's get this cover off i'm gonna tilt it at an angle wiggle this wait Okay, I guess we can't really do this with one hand. It's a bit tough. There's some clips in the center of this laptop that make it difficult. Oh, there we go. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. There we go. Okay, so we're going to take our SSD back out here. Oh, I'm using the, I need to use the larger screwdriver for this. Okay, this isn't my usual way I do this, but <laughs> let's go ahead and see. I hope. I hope the SSD is fine and it really is just that. Okay, so we're going to take out this new SSD that I just got. And that means now I have this SSD for nothing if that fixes the problem. I'm going to take this out. Okay. We're going to pull the SSD out. Let's go ahead and open this thing back up to put their old SSD back in there. Do this with like one hand. All right, there we go. We're gonna get this back in here. I'll be amazed if that's the issue because I don't know why, but when I check it with an external drive, um, or not uh, external drive, but an external computer. It didn't want to read properly so let's go ahead and see we'll push this back down okay and then we'll get this little bracket lined up and drop that in place okay let's get these screws and oops sorry i'm going out of view again sorry this video is so bad quality i'm just trying to get it all in one take without having to stop Get that screw in, okay, make sure everything is lined up, make sure this slid in all the way. There we go, tighten that in. Okay, I have a feeling a lot of people are going to be having this issue if, if it does the same thing with that update. We're going to get the bottom of this cover in first. And again, I do have a video showing this the proper way <laughs> with two hands. So, if that's what you want to watch, go ahead and watch that video. Alright, this one I'm just trying to get it all in one clip again. Alright, clip that in. Okay. Alright, clip all of that. Good. And we'll get this last screw. The other screws we can get later. We just want to test and make sure everything's working. Okay. Make sure to clip the center clips in as well. I 
I think when we actually, oh, I'm going to have to fix that later. Um, again, normally when you clip it, you actually want to clip the bottom in first. Oh, actually, okay. Oops. I actually was able to get it to clip in. Let's flip this over and let's see what we got. Hopefully it's going to boot up normally now. Again. Oh, I forgot this computer likes to turn itself on when you open the screen. So let's see what's going on. I might have turned it off. Let's turn it back on. Oh, I guess it's turning itself back off and on. All right. So we'll give this some time. Yeah, I think it's turning itself off and on. The caps lock light keeps going off and on by itself. Um, I don't know if it detects that the hardware was changed or what, because every time, there you go. Every time we do that, it does that. So I'm going to stop the BIOS testing thingy here. And let's see what we got. Come on, boot up. So it's doing its thing. You can see it's restarting itself. Oh, I just saw the Dell logo. Okay, so I don't know why it does this, but I'm going to go to F2 BIOS setup. Maybe the SSD really is dead. And I'm going to have to do the install anyways. But uh, let's find out. Okay. So storage, it's on AHCI mode, M.2 PCIe is on, boot configuration, there's no boot options here. Yeah, so I think the SSD is actually toast on this thing, or that SSD is actually toast. So I guess I'll just put the other SSD back in and put the screws in. But anyways, hopefully this would have helped some of you guys um, if you had your old SSD not working. But this one looks like the SSD is actually toast. Um, but yeah, hopefully it helped. Thanks for watching. Again, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade or repair their devices as well. If it helped you save a bunch of money. Again, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Other than that, that's all. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.